how good can this back three be in terms of their shape and how compact can they be? Zubak, Hagard, and Jameson look for them to ride the line for Phoenix Rising and ask a lot of questions from this side for Danny Stone. I do think Partiz and Kasipli, how quickly can they get the tempo and play this game on the terms and the tempo that Danny Stone wants to play at? Phoenix Rising for interim head coach Diego Gomez. This is what it looks like coming off that four goal performance. Let's go, we are underway. It's Phoenix Rising and Orange County, the lone game in the USL Championship on this Wednesday evening. Kasipli puts this in front, the header's in! Zubak scores! The perfect start for Orange County at home, 1-0. The importance of set pieces when you're not finding the back of the net as often as you would like. No need for Formella, but it's a movement from Ethan Zuber. Powers pass through, and now it keeps moving out wide with Dogman. Wyke there defensively for Phoenix. Dogman. Dogman's cross coming to the penalty spot. Rocco Rios Novo getting fingertips on it. The defensive side of the ball for Orange County, it's been a little bit of a tactical change for Danny Stone. This cross bouncing in. Comes all the way to the end line, it skims the crossbar and ends up out of play. Trying to bend it around this back line for Phoenix Rising, unorthodox from Ethan Zubak, takes a little bit of a deflection from Lawrence White. Zubak has been throughout 33 minutes, the ability to come to feet but can also test and run in behind. As I was talking about the little tactical change for Danny Stone, Guimarães, the table is in the Western Conference. Both of these teams coming at seven and eight in the Western Conference, separated by only one point between the two in the live table. And if it stays this way, it would then be a four point gap between Tulsa and San Antonio who are on 31 points on the outside, looking in as this is in for a second. Ethan Zubak bags a brace, and Orange County leads 2-0. Fantastic bit of play here from Orange County. Ethan Zubak. to the near side with Wyke. Margaritha will get it at his feet. Margaritha taking off the ball. There's a chance now for Hagard and Jamison streaming forward. Jamison will send Dogman off to the near side. Dogman turns the corner. Dogman coming forward. Dogman in his side netting. This will be Kasipli to chip it forward. It ends up out of play, and that is the last action of this first half. And Orange County can go into the locker room with the advantage through Ethan Zubak. Charlie Dennis, a dead ball specialist. And Dennis will go for goal, and it's saved by Shuttler. Full stretch, Shuttler pushes it away. Great save. I think he sees it late with the one-man wall. Charlie Dennis tries to catch him cheating. Initially takes that first step to his left-hand side, has to quickly recover. Make himself as big as possible to push it wide of his post. Dennis delivers the corner kick and headed away. Orange County making life very difficult for Phoenix Rising to break through. That's a foul. Play on. And now a shot, big deflection.
action. And onto the roof of the net. And Orange County, I think rightfully so, are not pleased that that was not called as a foul. And a yellow card has been given. It looks to Kevin Partita. Sent up fields. And Orange County will just look to play on. Some pressure from Margarita. And Shuttler just sends it forward. Orange County now will play on advantage. Sliding challenge put in, and Phoenix get it back. It's Among who is down. Slowly get back to his feet as Phoenix come back the other way. Rolled ahead. On hell looking in field, the chip to the back post. Margarita took time to settle, blocked down. It's Cabral on the turn and in his side netting. Switch of play, and that is full time. Orange County take down Phoenix, rising by two goals to nil.